I don't know anything about this movie. I remember seeing like the teasers and the promotional sh on TV when it was supposed to be coming out, but I don't know anything actually about it or the story. I'm familiar, I believe, with like the mythological creature of Krampus, or maybe I'm not too familiar. I've heard of it, of the creature, but the movie, not much. I know Ben from uh, Parks and Rec is in this. It's beginning to look a lot Hot like start, Christmas. baby. Yes, it is. Christmas time, baby. I'm wondering if this is gonna be like a... All right, I, I guess I'm not familiar with the Krampus creature at all. I've heard of it, but I'm, I don't know if it is supposed to be like an evil creature or if it's just a Christmas myth kind of thing, like uh, Jack Frost. As a kid, there was a movie, Jack Frost. There's a kid's version of it that I don't remember anything about. I don't know if I've even seen it. I might have seen bits and pieces of like, I think Michael Keaton. I know that exists, but there was a version of the movie I watched as a kid that was straight up just a horror movie where it was like Jack Frost killing people and sh So I'm wondering if this is gonna be like that or if Krampus is a horror. I'm just gonna Google it. How about that? Krampus in Central European popular legend, a half goat, half demon monster that punishes misbehaving children at Christmas time. Okay, I, it sounds like a pretty evil character to me. Oh, what a loving family picture. Okay. There's literally nothing good about that picture. What are they pulling up in a monster truck? What the f Arriving by spaceship? We brought you a little taste of home though, didn't we? Oh, wow. Whoa. Thank you. It looks... Oh, he looks thrilled to give her that. Well, we don't have to keep the traffic jam going now. Oh, it's this, it's a uh, packer. You look cute in your matching jackets. They're just a little cranky because the Steelers lost, so. That. I so, would you ask Santa for this year? Really nice. It looks pretty good. Oh, it looks better. Please, communicate. Toy car? Video games? Oh my God, this kid. I hate you. I could have broken a hip out there. Surprise. Please don't be mad. You guys need to communicate more with what you guys are doing and your plans, man. All these surprises just in the first five seconds. Wasn't there another... Hmm? Child. Chrissy! Darn it! Jordan, I told you to bring her inside. Not my kid. Come on, girl. Oh my goodness. Tommy, help me get the... What is this family? Let's make some memories, huh? <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> he has such a naturally just like uncomfortable vibe to him. The actor is great. Oh, I think this warhead's arm. Ah, uh, a future little <laughs> shit, uh huh? You set that up wherever you want, T. <sighs> Telling him to set it up? It's not his kid. That kid just downing Mountain Dew, off brand Mountain Dew. Uh. Oh my god. God, this family. I'm getting Howie Jr. into game shape. By the time he gets to high school, he's gonna be the biggest lineman in the state. So that's what you're aiming for. You're, you're aiming to get your kid as big as possible so that he could play a lineman. Why not get him big and built to be like a linebacker? Remember that your Aunt Sarah likes everything to be clean and perfect, and that's why she makes so much food that you can't pronounce. Well, I just thought you guys might like a break from macaroni and cheese with hot dogs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that shit is good, man. That's gourmet. It's delicious, honey. It's a little dry. Okay. Well, mine's delicious. All right, when is this creature gonna come out and start wrecking havoc, man? It's about time. So what kind of godforsaken concoction are you whipping up now? You know how this fancy food clogs my pipes. So don't eat it. How about that? Sarah, you know. No, Aunt Dorothy, please. For your sake, just stay the hell out of my kitchen. Let her know, let her know. I wish me and Beth could hang out like we used to. Aww. You might have noticed that I don't have tons of friends. I wish my mom and dad could fall in love again. I know they get Jeez. upset a lot with dad away from home so much. Oh my God, this is such a heartfelt really letter. Oh, you're being, <laughs> oh my God. I wish things weren't so hard for Uncle Howard and Aunt Linda. So maybe you can lend them a hand the rest of the year too. Wow, such a heartfelt letter. He didn't ask really for anything, just simply for himself. Come on. Oh, all right, all right, that's I mean, you guys all heard that letter, right? Like that. I just wanted Christmas to be like it used to be, but forget it. I hate Christmas. I hate all of you. Oh, poor kid. And then this little shh. Mm, I hate this family. Every year gets worse. Why do we have to put up with their crap just because we share DNA? Because that's what a family is, Max. People you no. try to be friends with, even though you don't have a whole lot in common. Sharing blood does not give you the right to be absolute holes. I don't buy that, nah. And thanks for giving me all that. 
wonder was, what was Omi doing. Oh, poor guy. What was that? Just got sucked into the atmosphere. That's what's gonna summon the creature. Honestly, I was pretty sure this was a horror movie going into. Okay, now some spooky shit going on. I was just about to say that I might have been wrong that it was a horror movie. But right, here we go. Now it's starting to get a little weird. That's gorgeous. That is a terrifying snowman. That is terrifying. No heat and no electricity. Or food. Well, there's plenty of leftovers, Howard. That is if you Here haven't is. eaten them already. Then can I walk over and check on him? It's only a few blocks. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, I could see if anyone else has power on the way. She'll be fine. Yeah, just send someone to go with her. She doesn't have to go all by herself. All time with Jordan and Stevie. Got it? You call that a rehearsal? Come on, Jordan. Plant your, your feet. All right. right. Here we go. Max, I told you to get Omi out of... Oh, man, I don't know what you're she saying, but I like what you're makes doing. Everything better. Oh, hot, you're right, oh, man. That reminds me, I need to buy some. Getting that time. Dang, look at that house. Holy crap, dude, it's so spooky. Now it's all dark all of a sudden. What, is she in the upside down now? Is that the big man? Is that Santa Claus? Oh, it's... Santa, hey! Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, he's dead! Holy crap. Why is he going after her though? What has she done that's so misbehaving? She's not on the nice list? Put that there. Oh, that's suspicious. <laughs> Saw that coming and I still jumped. <laughs> what the hell was that? Well, I guess she's dead. I don't even know what the hell that was. Peeked out of that music box. Whatever it was, wasn't happy. Beth should be home by now. She's fine, she's at Derek's. <laughs> All the more reason to worry. Hey, hon, relax. Just for once, okay? Your daughter's dead. She says not to go, but it's too dangerous and that we should wait until the storm's over. Tom. Oh, I got this. Hey, Mom, we have to go pick up Beth, but Max and Sarah will take care of you while I'm gone. Oh, okay? You think she cares about her? Everything's gonna be okay. Well, I'm guessing Omi's gonna be like the key to all this. She knows all of the, uh, all the mythological stuff. Like, I'm sure she'll be like, the key to defeating Krampus is to believe in Santa Claus or something like that. I don't know. Storm probably knocked out the radio stations, too. Yeah, it's like the apocalypse, though. Poor bastard must have sailed clear through. It's more like the opposite. Oh, yikes. Punched in glass. You packed guns on Christmas. Of course he did. Mom? What in the world? Probably just squirrels. <laughs> yeah. In this it? weather. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrels wearing steel-toed boots, maybe. Is this supposed to be Derek's house? Back? Oh my goodness. It's literally, it's like the apocalypse hit in the middle of this storm and just looters hit every building possible. Or more realistically, a Christmas demon killing everybody in the neighborhood. Stabbing gingerbread men. <laughs> So it, it came down the chimney and like busted out of it. Oh, that's freaky. Holy crap. Yeah, Omi knows, man. Omi knows about it. She's alive? Oh my goodness, what's happening? What is happening? Oh, it's in the it's in the snow. Tommy? Whoa! <laughs> So anyways, I just started blasting. Oh, oh the Hummer! Lucinda! Lucinda! To find them, I don't like this. What are you talking about? Tom and Howard know what they're doing. They're fine. Honey, I'll be right back. I promise. Is this movie just gonna be everyone going out the door? 
Here we go. Kids, why don't you go into the kitchen and get something to eat now, okay? Oh, come on. You just want to tell us what's really going on Everybody here. Everybody in the kitchen right now, kitchen. Max. Mom, will you please go into the kitchen and help with the kids? No, 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 no. Her knowledge is useful. Kümmert euch um das Feuer. All right, that's a good, good tip. We have to keep looking. We have to pair up and take turns. Okay? Yes. Can't go back out there. You see this? It's damn near frostbite in under four minutes. Jeez. I think our best bet is to stay put. Board up all the doors and windows, and as soon as the weather breaks, we'll go find her. Oh, man, we are getting down and dirty, dude. Shit is hitting the fan. We are in it now. Hey, you guys. How much of that did you hear? Enough. Like they weren't going to eavesdrop. Come on now. How could you not expect them to eavesdrop after the way that they entered into the house? I just want to say thanks for, uh, you know, saving my back there. And I just want to say I'm sorry for thinking you're such a spineless dick all these years. <laughs> Appreciate it, I guess. Dude, look at all these. What? Always been acting different. She always gets a little weird around Christmas. How come? I don't know. She never wanted to talk about it. Ah, so she's encountered this before, most likely, then. She lost her entire family one Christmas many years ago. One of us should probably stay up and keep watch. I'll go first. No, you go ahead and catch some winks with your family. Night, Howard. Night. <sighs> man, he immediately fell asleep. Honestly, same, man. I would do the same. Not on purpose. <clears throat> and the fire's out. The fire's not kept hot. Omi said keep the fire hot. Surprise, Omi's sleeping. Yeah, look at that. Fire gone. You're done. It's game over. Down the chimney. Somebody wake up! Somebody wake up! That's a hook! What does he need that hook for? Wake up, you guys! Please! Don't, don't. Or, I mean, this kid. I mean, I mean, if you want. I wouldn't be upset if you woke everybody up, but to be honest, if you want to go for it, go for it. Oh, you're dead. The hook, the hook, the hook. Oh, shit. Shit. Ew, you just bite it? This is great. I loved that. That was so goofy, but I loved it. That was so ridiculously goofy in the best way. Oh no. Oh no! Damn it, it's the tree. It's gonna be like a telltale game. You have to choose which way to go. Get the kid out of the fireplace or run away from the burning fucking tree. <laughs> oh, that's great. So much for that Division One lineman. Yikes. Howard. Howard. Well, you guys are one to one now. You've both lost a child. Your families are even. Well, actually, no, they still have two kids versus their one. So just need one more to go. I don't know. Mom, what are you talking about? Please, listen. Yes, yes, English. yes. On a cold winter night, oh, much yes, like this. I see this very badly. Hell yeah. It was, but I still believed in Santa. In magic. Aww. And miracles. Oh, this is cute. This but little animation. This is nice. On miracles and on each other. They had forgotten the spirit of Christmas. And my family was no different. I tried to help Aww. them to believe again. But Aww, we were no longer the loving family. Oh, I that actually. Oh, my God. That really just broke my heart. It's just the art, man. The animation. And for the first time, I didn't wish for a miracle. I wished for them to go away. And that night, I got my wish. 
Wait a minute. Did Max make a wish to, for everyone to go away? I know he said that he hated everybody. I don't remember if he exactly said, I wish you guys would all just go away or disappear or something like that. So, oh no. I'm sure that's what it comes down to. He probably made a wish of some type. Krampus came not to reward, but to punish. Not to give, but to take me and his helpers. His helpers. <laughs> I could... But Krampus oh. didn't take me that night. He left me as a reminder of what happens when hope is lost. Jeez, that's dark. And the Christmas spirit dies. Wow. That's crazy. That was a great story. I'm getting oh. Howie oh. back. Hey. Howie, what are you Daddy, doing? Don't Tommy, oh. come on! Don't Tommy! Daddy, whoa, don't. whoa! All right, let him go. He's fine. Go ahead. Go looking. We've got four other kids here to protect. <laughs> Howard. Baby, please don't do this. Listen. He clearly cares more about his son, though, than his daughters. There's so many demented little snowmen. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's freaky. I wonder if this movie's gonna end with everyone dying and then just Max being the only one left alive to be the reminder. I feel like Max fits the description of little kid Omi. And so it, it looks like what they're explaining with Krampus is it's a character that comes around when not just like children are misbehaving, but everybody is misbehaving and just forgetting the overall meaning of Christmas. They get punished for it. And I guess that's why they open the movie up with that montage of people storming a store on Black Friday, stomping over each other, getting into fights. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One of the little helpers. Linda. Can we talk with you and Howard for a minute? Close one. How did they get in there, huh? <laughs> it's like the snowmen are like keeping eyes on them, making sure they're not going anywhere. Ew. Ew. Beth, you up there? Why the hell would it be Beth? Come up here and I'll show you. I've been waiting for you guys. Oh, you're dead. Jordan! Stevie! Linda! Jordan! <laughs> Listen. Oh, God. <laughs> the helpers are at work. Mommy? Hmm? I think all this might be my fault. Oh, but no. Hey, honestly, screw it, man. You wishing for all these people to disappear, for all of them to die? Hey, it's a humbling moment for them. It'll ground them a little bit. They needed this. It's okay. I gotcha. Yeah. Why do you think she's crying? Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, how much damage could they do? They're just like little gingerbread men. Ew! What is going on here? Oh, oh no! On. What is he? Oh my god! That's what I said, Tony! Ew! Oh my goodness, man. This is insane. Oh, hey guys! <laughs> they got a nail gun! This is amazing. Ew! Yeah! What the fuck? Ew! Oh, that's so scary. Bear! Bear! It's a teddy bear. Wow. Okay, I thought their little helpers were just like the gingerbread men. It's a ton of other things. Ew! Dude, I was not expecting any of this, man. Ew! It's an evil robot. A little toy robot. Aww. Aww. Merry Christmas, mother. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious, man. Comedy. Yeah. The dog ate it. Rosie coming up clutch. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he was getting all scared and just bracing for impact at a gingerbread man jumping at him. This is insane. I love this. 
No! Ew! Green? Oh, Mama ain't playing. Oh, look at her. She's running the gauntlet. She's taking them all out. <laughs> this is so goofy. Give me back my kids, you fudger! Oh, that's so goofy. <laughs> what are we dealing with? What'd you see up there? You don't want to know, sweetheart. Honey, I just got my ass kicked by a bunch of Christmas cookies. <laughs> so trust me when I say I can take it. <laughs> well, I think you probably had the easiest matchup of anybody. <laughs> <laughs> this creature. Oh my god! Oh, the baby. The bear! Don't kill Omi. Doom! Doom! Sharpshooter Aunt Dorothy. Oh, here we go. Now it's the main event. Elves? Not the main event. What? What? Oh, this is a, this is wild. No, they're taking the baby. Oh my goodness. There we go. That's our main event right there. Have to deal with this undercard bullshit. I'm ready to see Krampus in action. Omi! Be good. Oh, Omi, what are you doing? Omi, I can just go through the window. There's a giant hole in the wall. What is this sacrifice? What is the point of this? I don't get what the point of this is. She wants to face him. She wants She's to. Trying to help. Uh, seems pointless, man. He cannot fit. Hey, big guy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, those are some massive horns. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> What's up, Saint Nick? Oh, don't make it weird. Just kill her, dude. Get in the bag. Oh, that's a lot of helpers. Oh. You have to go. You have to go. I need you to go. Keep driving. Do you understand? Man, you can still keep going, dog. You have the shotgun. How? What do they have to defend themselves if you keep the shotgun and stay behind? You are wasting all of that, man. Oh, man. I think that was another pointless sacrifice. They got, what, an extra six steps ahead of them? That was another pointless sacrifice, man. It's just gonna be max left. Stay here. I'll be right back. I love the silent night in the background. No! I love you. No! Holy. But they are speed running through the killing of the adults, dude. Holy crap, man. It's not starting. It's not starting. Why is it starting? The girl still has to go. Max will be the only one left. There goes there she goes. Alright. Easy. Krampus, yep. Krampus is gonna leave Max to be the reminder, just like Omi. Hey, what's up, big guy? Let him know. Give him a wink. The good old wink. Oh, no, he's gonna give him a bell. Yep. The reminder. Oh, wrapped in his letter, too. Oh, he tore up the letter and threw it away, which it was just like when Omi threw her uh, doll into the fire. Okay. He left me as a reminder. Yeah, movie. I knew that. I literally, the moment she said that, I knew that th this was what was going to happen. You didn't need to do a playback. Whoa, the whole sleigh and the reindeer. Okay, this is dope. Hey! 
Max ain't gonna let him go away quietly. I take back my wish! I take it all back! That ain't how that works, big guy. Sorry. Give me back my family! <laughs> I mean, you can join them, but you can't get them back. What is a, a gate to hell? Your jaw is all sorts of messed up, dude. You need to get some work done. I know you can fix this. Give them back. Take me instead. Ew. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Krampus is such a little trickster. Oh, he's gonna take them both? I'm sorry. I just wanted Christmas to be like it used to be. Hey, so does he. That's all Krampus ever wants. No! Dang. The hell is this? What if you just send them back in time? Ah! And everyone's back. So was it all a nightmare? Did Krampus was like, okay, I understand you and, uh. About time you got up, we've been waiting forever. Oh, shut up, Beth. This is all your fault. Merry Christmas, Max. I'm a little confused, a little bit confused. So Krampus gave him his family back and the message got instilled on, into him about not forgetting the meaning of Christmas and stuff like that, I guess. Um, Really hey, for a Christmas movie, this is a fine ending. For a horror movie, I don't know. It's, it's nothing. Just Merry Christmas. Aww. Merry Christmas to you. And it's gonna be the, the bell. Right. All right, yeah, that's dope. All right, okay. <laughs> Never forget, he allowed this to happen. Oh my God. Oh, everyone. It's supposed to be like it used to be. Nothing bad's gonna happen. <laughs> what are they just all getting hit with like a crazy wave of deja vu? Yeah, that was weird, man. Everyone got freaked out. It was like like deja vu hit him like, oh, there's a meaning to this, isn't there? I just don't know what it is. Santa Claus is coming to town. Gather round. He's making a What list. is happening? Are we living in a simulation? No, but we are living in a snow globe. You better not fall, I'm telling you why. So confused. All right, y'all. So that was Krampus. That was good, man. That was another good Christmas movie. Outside of Christmas, like the just horror movie aspect side of things, I think it was all right. It wasn't like overly scary. I think some of the designs for some of the characters was pretty freaky and it went directions I wasn't expecting. I was only expecting Krampus, the character, not a bunch of different little helpers and stuff like that. So that was really unexpected and I liked some of the designs of the characters. I liked the whole Christmas vibe. I think it definitely fits well and i think it's very it's an interesting watch around the christmas time and i think the ending is all right i'm i'm a little confused exactly on what happened basically he dropped max into that hole and it i want i don't know if it transported him back maybe maybe to a different timeline or something where he didn't make this wish so now he has his family back and he learned his lesson that he needed to learn and he will never forget it because he'll still have that constant reminder but he'll also have his family is there something different he did that omi didn't do why didn't Omi do what Max did? Why didn't Omi get her family back? Is it because Omi didn't show true remorse and say I'm sorry and she didn't like try to sacrifice her? I don't know. A little weird. Plus, only Max would have learned the lesson in this world now that he's living in because none of the other characters went through the experiences so none of them really like got to know each other the same way they they didn't get to like for example uh howard he's like through all of that he learned that adam scott's character i already forget his name because i don't i don't remember the names in this movie he was like oh i'm starting to like you a bit more i thought you were spineless but this is helping me see that you're not that bad of a guy he didn't get that experience, so the family dynamic is still going to be pretty hostile and different, I think, right? I don't know. I think that's a little bit cloudy, and I think I'm just confused on a couple writing decisions for, especially the end of the movie. Especially how, like, they, they sped through killing all the adults, man. Like, I knew the end was going to be only Max left, but they just sped through killing off all the adults. It was like four all at once. It went from Omi to Dad to Aunt to Mom, all in, like, less than two minutes. It was so quick. And some of the deaths just felt like pointless. Omi, she didn't have to sacrifice herself, didn't add or help anything at all. Dad, Ben Scott, Adam Scott, Ben, he didn't have to sacrifice himself. He bought maybe them an extra 
10 seconds, not even. Like, it didn't help at all. He did not need to do what he did. If anything, he was making it worse for them because they didn't have the added protection of a shotgun by their side. But hey, man, I still enjoyed it, to be honest. I still did. I did have a good time. It's a good Christmas horror movie.